Hi folks, Allie here with the Potomac Bead Company, and I'm going to show you how to wrap an arrowhead. An arrowhead is kind of a fun past childhood memory. You can, if uh, if you're on the East Coast, you can usually find a lot of these in some of the um, central areas around the coastlines. But a lot of people have found arrowheads, especially little boys love the idea of the arrowheads, the Indian arrowheads. And when you find them, <clears throat> There's some easy ways to wrap them, as well as some more decorative ways to wrap them. So I'm going to show you how to do a couple different wraps on the arrowheads. One thing that you'll definitely need are your pliers. For your pliers, you want to have a round nose pliers. The round nose pliers have a rounded jaw on both sides. The closer you hold them to your hand, the more you're going to get a big round loop to it. You're also going to use the needle nose pliers. You want to make sure your needle nose pliers don't have any ridges inside the jaws because they're going to mark up your wire. In addition to that, you're going to want your wire cutters. The wire cutters, whenever you're using them, they're going to have a V side and a flush cut side. You always want to cut with the flush side towards your project, so usually facing down away from you. That way you get a nice tight cut. The thing that I'm working on is a bead mat. It's nice because it's going to grab whenever you're working with wire. It's going to grab the little scraps of wire that will happen as we cut. And then in addition to my pliers and my bead mat, I do have my wire. So wire, the nice thing with the arrowheads, you can really use any sort of wire when you're wrapping these because of their shape. The wire that I've chosen to use is 20 gauge half round wire. So one side is flattened, one side is half rounded. So when you look at it, it's basically a semicircle. Um, you can use round wire, you can use half round wire, it's really up to you. And this is just the craft wire by uh, Beadsmith that I'm working with. You can also use the Beetle on brand, any brand will work. And like I said, any sort of round square or half round wire works, so any shape works. Usually you're going to want to use about 22 to 20 gauge wire on the arrowheads. If you have a really big one, you might want to use 18, but generally speaking, 22 or 20 gauge, either round square, half round wire will work for this. So to start my first wrap, it's very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to wrap around the top of the arrowhead. The arrowhead has a great little indentation here and little sides that would be put into the wood that would be used and because of that it has a nice little groove to catch the wire. So all we're going to do is start with our wire, wrap it around here once and twice with my flat side facing down. When I get to the back that I left a little bit of a two inch tail, and you don't want to overthink this, I'm just going to turn a half turn so that way one wire is coming toward the top and one coming towards the bottom. It looks like a little gift bell. And What I'm going to do is use this top one here to make my little loop to attach to my bale. So depending on what size wire you're using or what size chain you're putting on a uh, leather cording, you're going to take those that wire here and we're going to make our bale out of it. What you can do is to anchor it, you're going to take one of those wires and you usually can pull up a little bit on them and you're going to slide the wire underneath one of those. If you need to, you can take a pliers and kind of force that under. Fortunately, it wants to fight me right now. Wire is one of those things that it wants to do what it wants to do, and if it doesn't want to do that, you got to think of a different way to do it. I'm going to separate those wires out a little bit, and I'm going to grab that wire and pull it through. I'm going to pull it through again so I can make my bale. Just so that I have a round loop at the top, I'm going to put my round nose pliers right in there. I'm going to take this wire that I had there at the bottom, fold it back towards the top, and when I get back towards the top, I'm going to pinch those wires so that I'm making my tiny bale. I'm pinching that wire to the bale. So you're going to have two here, and the other side you just see that crossover. This wire then is going to get twisted around that loop at the top and get pinched in. That's going to hold it all together and make it nice and easy to work with. This wire that's here in the back gets a little bit of a trim. And then that little tail that's created, that's left on it, is going to get bent back either with your round nose or your needle nose pliers. And it's just going to get bent back upon itself and give a nice little squeeze down 
and that's going to squeeze it there in place. So that's going to be the really most simple way to wrap the arrowhead where you're not going to see a lot of wire going on and it's going to hold when you're wearing it for whatever pen name. The other thing you can do is some more decorative wraps if you want it to look a little bit more as wire worked. And with this one what we actually do is we start at the top. So I'll show you that one as well. I'm going to take a piece of wire that's about six inches long and cut it off of my wire here. And the first thing on this one is you're actually going to make the loop at the top. So I'm going to hold in the middle of my wire with my round nose pliers here and I'm going to crisscross my wires right below my round nose pliers. I'm going to then take that wire below and I'm going to do a twist. So just like a twister tie, I'm going to tie that and twist that in place. Once I have the twist going, I'm going to have some wire to one side, wire to the other side. That's what I'm going to do then on that arrowhead, is I'm going to take the wire to either side of the arrowhead. So I'm just going to cut apart this most simplistic one and show you how to do it on here. And we'll cut that off and take this wire off, and then I'll show you how to wrap this one as well. So I have my loop here and my arrowhead. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit that loop just right on top. If you want a decorative one like this, you can go with one wire to the front, one to the back, and then you're going to crisscross around the bottom of the arrowhead. You can also take that loop, hold it directly above the arrowhead, take one wire to the front of it and down the back, take the other wire on the other side to the same side, front, and to the back. That way that loop's just going to hang out there right on the top. When you get to the back, those wires kind of cross along the back, and you can cross down and make that X pattern on the other side. Bring those wires then to the front, and you can wrap it around the front here as well. You get an X on both sides, and you can tuck the wires just to the back, and that's going to have your arrow head on it. So that's one way to do that. You can also straighten out those wires. I'll show you. Back here too, all you would have to do is twist tie those, cut them down short. But if I want to get that kind of pattern, that little Asian-y looking pattern on my arrowhead, I'm going to bend my wires back out. My loop's going to sit on top, turn to the side. One piece of wire going to the front, one piece of wire going to the back of my arrowhead. I'm going to go down underneath the arrowhead, so underneath that point there. Other side, I'm mimicking the same thing. I'm going to go down underneath, and then when I come back up on the other side, I'm going to link in to that little crevice there. I'm going to link into the crevice on the other side. So both sides will look identical, and then what you can do is decorate it. So this one here, I brought two wires to the one side and then around the back and ended it to the back. Whenever you end the wires again, all you do is a almost like a twister tie method and then you're going to cut. The main thing to make sure whenever you're doing these or working with any sort of wire pendant is that your bail is going to stay put and the wire that you use on the front or on the back if you end them there is going to be nice and pinched down because the last thing you want to do is to rub the clothing that you're wearing it on top of but there's a decorative way to do it. If you have a little bit of space above the loop because you made it off the project, what you can do is actually put it back on and twist it with your round nose pliers. That'll twist it right on top of the arrowhead. So you can play around with the pattern and you can do the simple ones, you can do ones that have the wraps over. So you can really just kind of go at it with your wire. But the arrowheads are great to wrap and easy to wrap because they do have those grooves in them. You can do the same thing and we have another video for shark's teeth doing those as well. And sea glass is kind of the same method also. That you're just kind of ending the wire and making your bail at the top. So hopefully if you find some of these really cool artifacts you get a chance to use that 22 or 20 gauge wire and make them independence. Even though they are a little bit masculine, you really can dress it up with this gold wire like that and add some beads on the top as well. So if you get a chance again to get these artifacts or even stones, rocks, anything like that, you can have fun wrapping them. When they have the grooves, it makes it really, really easy. You can get 
other ideas like this as well as other projects by watching the rest of our YouTube videos. You can also visit us online and in our retail locations at potomacbeads.com. Check out which store is nearest to you. If you can't get a chance to visit us in one of the stores and you need materials to make a project, you can also shop online at thebeadco.com. Thanks a lot for watching and happy beading and happy hunting to find some of these really cool artifacts and other things like it.